of daylight. <laughs> but that gets dark in a hurry now. Like once you hit September, it gets dark. We got another hour here yet, I bet. Feelings lose, so getting a lot more sluhy than I anticipated, I guess. So amazing how much the water went down, at least in this little piece here. Pretty much mowing up right into the cattails, I guess. Not as deep as last year yet, but I guess this keeps up. I'll probably mow a little bit more down in this spot anyways, but there's other places where the water table is still pretty high yet. I don't know, some of these bales are probably just going to end up rolling out here in the field and then get them either this winter or next spring to haul them off then because, yeah, we got a lot of hay at home right now, so which is a good thing. We won't quite finish tonight. There's one more slew yet. We we'll, won't we'll get to it tonight. I'll, I'll probably do it myself tomorrow fishing off tomorrow morning afternoon. Finishing bailing up these sloughs that we didn't get done last night at all. This is that field that um, had a lot of bales on it. And, uh, yeah, finally getting to this slough here now. The slough should have been done a while ago. Not enough time, but it's mostly shorter reed canary stuff. Most of it is a little bit of alfalfa and short grasses, but sloughy stuff mainly here. I have to kind of watch where I dump the bales. That one maybe should have dumped out, but I can sometimes get a lot of rain. Ground is even a little wet yet, damp. Big windrows down here. Ah, ain't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Darn it. That wasn't good. I'm gonna have to just slug the baler. There it goes. I'm going a little bit too fast into this windrow right away. One thing about the Vermeer baler, it seems like, you know, for when you got big heavy windrows, has to uh, to start them, you know, before it gets that bale rolling in there, you know, if you have a heavy windrow, big heavy windrow, you got you gotta watch it. <laughs> Until that thing gets roll gets bigger or else because where it tends to uh, where it tends to have trouble is on the edges where those it has two little augers on the inside to direct the hay to the center. Um, if it's too much for it, they, and the bale's not rolling, it can't grab it in, and it just balls up and just packs in there then. Yeah, it's mainly the early, the biggest complaint that I would say I have with Vermeer balers. Yeah, that is just rough, that is just rough down here. Ruts here and, and, uh, um, what do you call them? Muskrat tunnels and... I think that's really the only gripe I have with these Vermeer balers is just starting into a big heavy windrow. Gotta watch it. It's probably a little damper the windrow too. Yeah, moisture it usually shows dry as it goes up to 14 there then. It, tires are wet so it's... That's just... It's a lot of heat down there. Long... We didn't, I didn't, I didn't crimp this here, we just mowed at the bar mowers. It's just stuff we really had time for, so. I probably would have crimped it instead, but. 
running out of time. We are we're in the area with the bar moors anyways. Playing some other stuff and quickly just ran here and chopped it down real quick. I got 24 slew bales here, pretty much. Nice. So that makes this field got, well, it'll probably be a half bale. I got a small winter up here yet to bale, but. You know. 163 bales in this field here. Wow. <laughs> Jeez. I just ran out of net wrap. I twine tied the last bale. I didn't feel like changing the net wrap over there in the wind, so I'm going to do it along the trees here. There's a little bit of wind break. tying these bales along the slew of the more cattail-y, raunchy stuff, so 
That's how we, how we mark bales. That's why we still have twine on this thing. So you kind of have, you know, for slew hay at least, you know, we got kind of two separate bales. Better slew hay, better grasses, and then raunchier stuff will use twine on it. Same with alfalfa fields too, like, we have to bail up a slew when we're bailing alfalfa. We'll, uh, you know, twine tie the slew bales then. So we don't mix up the alfalfa bales and with that little bit of slew hay then. So. A cold winter day, this stuff will work pretty good. Round and round they go. It takes quite a bit longer too. It's unbelievable how much longer it takes, but do what you gotta do, I guess. Yep, this slew again. Gonna end up with over 122 bales here now. Both sides of the slew. Pretty much as deep as we were last year, just about. Well, the water table right here seems to have dropped quite a bit, but and then you get up here then, and it's still pretty high yet. The other side of the highway. Just nuts. Kinda wish I could seed in further, but in the springtime it's always just mush. You know, it's even the, what I, you know, for how much I didn't seed here this year. It's just unbelievable. It's always, it was always a bugger. But it just does make some pretty nice slew hay though. 